So hello and welcome. I am Neera Pandey and I am a serial entrepreneur and a startup coach. And in this video today, I'm going to talk about niche validation. Let's quickly dive into this video and see what this niche validation is all about and why is it important in this entire journey of entrepreneurship. Correct? So let's get started. Before we get on to talking about validating our niche, we should first understand what does niche mean? How do you find the right niche? Okay? So, a niche market or a business niche refers to a specific and a select group of customers who have some specific needs and requirements which are often underserved by the market at large. Okay? And therefore, catering to the demands of niche market is an effective way for small business owners to quickly establish a profitable business and also have a loyal set of customers. All right. So basically, a niche market or a niche is a group of customers who have some specific requirements and demands. Okay. And these requirements and demands are not served by the larger market, by the market at large. Okay. And therefore, if we as aspiring entrepreneurs or as small business owners can cater to the needs and demands of these, uh, these niche market, then we can quickly establish our business and we can also have a loyal set of customers. Okay. So let's understand how can we do that. But again, this has to be done through experimentation and data and not by guesswork. All right. So let's see what's the process. Okay, so to begin with, say, uh, let's identify some three or four niches in which you are comfortable to build your business. Okay, so based on your understanding about the niche, based on your awareness about the niche, you can pick up some three to four niches to begin with, in which you are comfortable building your business. Okay. And this knowledge about this niche that you are trying to validate or that you are trying of thinking and building a business in, this knowledge in this niche can be acquired by you maybe because of the educational qualification that you have or maybe because of your work experience or maybe because of your interest, your hobby, your passion. Okay. Now, sure, what I mean, so when I say that you need to be aware about the niche, you need to have some knowledge about the niche, I don't mean to say that you cannot start and think of starting a business in a niche in which you do not have familiarity with. All that I'm trying to say over here is that in case you want to build a business in a niche in which you do not have sufficient knowledge about, then you will have to put in some efforts and update your knowledge about the modalities and about the dynamics of that particular niche. And once you have done that, you can very well go ahead and build your business in that particular niche. All right. So, so based on your knowledge, we will pick up some three to four niches that you are okay building your business. In. Once you have done that, then you will find out where does the target audience for this niche hangs out on. Okay. And currently, because we are in this COVID situation, we will only talk about looking for audience on social media. Yeah, because meeting people and all is not advisable. And for the sake of this discussion, we will talk about social media only. Okay. So then based so after picking up the niche, find out where does the target audience for this niche hangs out on social media. All right. So say for instance, I want to build a business wherein I want to help pregnant women. Okay. So then and based on my understanding, I uh, figure out that pregnant women are very active on Facebook. So I will pick up Facebook as the platform for me to validate my niche. Okay. Having done that, now on Facebook, I will start looking out for active groups related to pregnant women. Okay. So, I will look out for groups where most of the members are pregnant women. 
active groups okay once i've done that i will put a joining request in the group and once my request gets approved i will take some time and i become a member of the group i will take some time to figure out the kind of posts that have happened in the group the kind of discussions that happen the kind of engagements that happen if there are any questions being asked and things like that Okay. So, I will spend some time doing that research and seeing whether I can get some idea pertaining to this niche from the discussions and the posts that have already been made in the group. Okay. Once I have done that, then I will strike a conversation in the group. I can introduce myself with a small post, something like, Hi, I am really happy to be a part of this community and I was wondering, would you mind helping me out with some industry questions that I have? So I am actually interested in uh, knowing what are those recurrent pain points that you incur on a day to day basis which actually prevent you from enjoying this beautiful phase of your life. Okay, so make some posts like this and then wait for some time and see who are the people who are interacting with your posts, what are the kind of uh, you know, discussions, are there any discussion being generated, are there any questions being asked, uh, what kind of engagement is your post generating. Okay, so do all that wait and see who are those people and what kind of reactions is your post generating and after some time after making a couple of posts then what you do is you send out a friends request to people who have been engaging with your post or to people who are otherwise usually active in the group send out friends request to them okay once they accept your friend request once you become friends with them then you can always connect with these people and ask uh, and uh, get into a one-to-one -one conversation and ask the questions that you want to ask pertaining to that niche okay so by doing this exercise supposing you had started with four niches and you um, became and in each niche say supposing you um, figured out some four four groups that you became members of and where you were interacting and posting your uh, post then at the end of this entire exercise say uh, in some of the niches you would have got good responses say, a greater number of responses say around maybe 10 to 15 20 such responses and some other niches you would have got less number of responses okay so by now this exercise will now give you an idea which is that niche which is more open for a discussion which is more open for a feedback and more open for a conversation and which is that niche which is not very open and is kind of a closed niche or maybe a difficult niche to target okay but this exercise now till now will not give you a clear cut idea and sufficient data so as to be able so as to enable you to make a decision all right so now what you do is you will now run paid promotions on facebook so supposing at the beginning of the activity if you allocated say 10000 rupees for niche validation then and you if you want to validate four niches then you will assign 2500 rupees to each of the niche okay and then you run paid promotions now wait for the duration till duration now wait for the time till the duration of the paid promotion is over or else till the time your budget gets used up okay and then based on the cost per customer cost per conversion cpc you can go ahead and make a call now what is cpc cpc is nothing it is the full form is cost per conversion which means that the amount invested with is the responses generated so say for instance you invested 2500 rupees in one niche and you could generate 100 responses in that niche then the cpc is 25 rupees okay now you can go ahead with the niche which where the CPC is the lowest or the number of responses are the highest because this would be the niche which will be more easier to handle more open for a conversation feedback discussion as compared to other niches where the number of responses are less or the CPC is high okay now this is one way in which you will get information pertaining to the niche that you are trying to validate 
but this is not the only way in which you are going to get data the other way is that now say supposing i am validating pregnancy as a niche then i will speak to my friends colleagues and uh, relatives and i will ask them to put it put me in touch with pregnant women in their network once i have their phone numbers with me i can always call up these pregnant women and ask whatever questions i need to ask Okay, that's how I will generate sufficient data points so as to be able to make an informed decision. Now, say supposing you want to create a business by helping adolescent kids, then one is this way. The other way is you can always go and hang out at these coaching centers or educational institutes where most of these kids go for their education. all right you can stand you can hang out in front of the coaching center or the educational institute and you can strike a conversation with these kids either when they are entering inside the institute or when they are coming out of the institute and that's how you can generate a lot of data in order to be able to make an informed decision say supposing you want to create a business wherein you want to help farmers okay so then what you need to do is maybe you need to uh, go to a krishi vigyan kendra or maybe a cooperative society and strike a conversation with the scientists over there with farmer representatives and farmers who might who you might find over there and then strike a conversation with them and ask right questions and generate sufficient data so as to be able to make an informed decision so using these metrics you can pick out nurturing niches without being too, too drained off without being too stressed and without the fear of going totally wrong and wasting a lot lot of your time energy and money right so don't you think this is a very very powerful approach for you to validate your niche rather than going with a gut feel based approach? also this particular methodology of validating your niche is a very very important tool in this entire journey of entrepreneurship so right now we are using this to validate our niche but we will be using the similar tool at various important milestones during our entrepreneurial journey what could these milestones be so first could be niche validation second could be the idea generation stage when you are finalizing the idea that you are going to uh, build a solution for and that for which you are going to build your business so that can be your second milestone the third is at your mvp stage okay and the fourth is when you are just about to launch your business or have just launched your business all right the objective of doing this validation at all different milestones of the entrepreneurial journey will be different and therefore the methodology might be slightly different but the essence would remain the same okay so this is a very very powerful tool and it has to be used in your entrepreneurial journey if you use this tool enough in order to take informed decisions at important milestones you will be able to save a lot of heartbreak a lot of effort going waste and a lot of anxiety at a later stage in your business but if somehow you are not comfortable with striking a conversation with strangers and if you are not comfortable doing this with going out speaking to people and because of that discomfort if you are going to avoid this important step in your entrepreneurial journey you will have to pay really huge prices later on so get over your discomfort go ahead use this methodology in order to validate your niche and maybe in other important milestones during your entrepreneurial journey all right so this is about niche validation see you soon bye bye take care